Greetings, my name is Tim Johnson. This is Recovery, Strength, Hope and Courage. Today's video I'm entitling An Addict Reborn. And just to summarise the reason for that, uh, this weekend I am exactly six months clean of alcohol and nine months clean of opiates and any other mind-altering chemicals, which is a, is a massive landmark for me and one which I'm extremely proud of, uh, of getting to. Just to give you some background, I've been an addict all my adult life, as long as I can remember. Alcohol's always played a, a major part in it. I've, I've drunk very heavily all my life, uh, being in the hotel and catering industry. I mean, that's not an excuse. It was more of an opportunity, really. Um, and things just escalate and escalate and escalate. But that's been there all the time. In my mid-20s, my mid-20s, I became an opiate addict and have um, used everything from heroin. Um, Oxycontin, morphine, tramadol, etc., 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 over the years. Been in rehab, uh, been a psychiatrist, psychiatrist uh, done suboxone for two years. Nothing worked until recently. Um, came over to Spain two years ago because I retired after a, a total hip replacement operation. For incidentally, which I was put onto tramadol painkillers for, which uh, wasn't a good move really. But came over here, retired, lovely apartment, beautiful village called Bella Magna Pueblo. Um, found I had nothing to do really. Boredom set in, loneliness set in to a certain extent. Uh, things just escalated and escalated and escalated till I was worse than I'd ever been. I was taking up to 25 to 30 tramadol tablets a day. Um, because they, we can buy them over the counter here, so it was so easy and so cheap. I didn't have to bother trying to get any other drugs or illegally get any other drugs. And alcohol, um, the culture over here is very much centred around um, alcohol, although they're much more sensible about it than I was. I shut myself away eventually, drinking up to one and a half to two bottles of vodka on a daily basis. If I couldn't get vodka, I'd drink four or five litres of cheap wine, which was 60 cents, which was even worse. Basically, I was just managing my withdrawal in the end. So I'd wake up sick, vomit, shakes, all, all the usual stuff. Um, I was in a hell of a state. I was dying. So I, I, if you look back at the other videos I've made, you'll see how I got out of it and what made me got to get out of it. But as I come up to six months and nine months now, I look at myself and I and I don't recognise the person I was then. I really don't recognise that person. It's a, it, and I, I, I watched a video the other day that a chap called Glenn made, called "The Dust Settles," and I've come to and he was saying that you know after five months of sobriety, he realised you know now the dust had settled from that, had to really concentrate on almost becoming a new person, rebuilding yourself. To, to stay sober and, and, and enjoy this life. And I've been doing that over the months, um, rebuilding myself. And I, and, I, I, and I think everyone that wants to be successful in recovery needs to do this. It's not just a case of rewiring your brain. It's, it's almost like becoming reborn, becoming a different person. And it goes for, it goes for nearly everything, every facet of your life. Um, because I love my life now and I love the way I am. I mean, I've, I've lost nearly 45 pounds in weight, um, not just because of all the exercise I do, but because of, of the extreme diet I'm on and obviously the lack of alcohol. <laughs> um, I feel I'm, uh, younger, stronger, fitter, happier than I've ever felt in my life, you know, and it's down to, to this rebuilding. I've talked about diet before. I mean, I'll go through all the things that I've done to change the way I am and I'm still changing and I think all these things are really essential in recovery um, that you need to work on and some of you will be different some of you will do different things choose different things obviously I'm not saying this is the this is for everybody but um, for me this has worked and is working and it's making me stronger and stronger and stronger diet I'm on uh, pretty much a, a vegan diet now well, I say a vegan diet but I do eat chicken I, I can't totally do I eat it three times a week um, but most of my diet now compro uh, sorry, comprises of fresh uh, fruits and vegetables and pulses and nuts and that type of thing. And 
uh, massive amounts, you know, six or seven or eight pints of water a day. And very lucky over here, as I said in my last video, because the fruit and veg is, is 90% sort of organic, homegrown, easily, very read, readily available. And I eat, um, I eat tons of it, and I found I'm eating more and more and more on this diet. I mean, I'll do another video on diet, but basically I'm eating, uh, you know, I'm never hungry, I'm never dissatisfied, you know, and, 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 and the food I'm eating is definitely affecting my mood, my well-being, my fitness levels, my energy levels. I've, I've never, never felt better. Loads of greens, kale, spinach, broccoli, loads of fruit and vegetable, uh, sorry, loads of fruit, all sorts, you know, I eat grapefruit, melon, um, pineapple, also, I mean, a snack on it, nuts, seeds, all that type of stuff. And I never thought I'd eat like this, but I mean, my diet is just, uh, it's just amazing. And it's definitely, I wish I'd found it years ago. Um, and, and as I say, the weight has dropped off. Exercise, I really think it's important to reduce your stress levels. Um, by, uh, yeah, and exercise is the greatest way of, of doing that. I have a, a quite a strict regime now. I go three or four times a week down to a very good local gym. They also have outside gyms here, which are free of charge. And I use those more or less on a daily basis as well. They have sort of machines and, and that type of stuff. And sort of an army gym, which I call an army gym, which is old-fashioned uh, pull-ups and uh, and dips and crunches and all that type of stuff. And it's like a circuit. And I do that on a daily basis. And I also walk um, at least 12K uh, on a daily basis, which in the sunshine here is fantastic. It's not as easy for everyone in there. But even even if it pours down with rain, I get out and on a daily. I just think it's really important to get daylight on you. Vitamin D, it's called supercharged vitamin D, by the way if it's created by daylight. Your body can't produce it without daylight and it's responsible for all sorts, you know, anti-disease, anti-cancer, uh, energy levels, all sorts of stuff, calorie burning. So the daylight is really important and it affects your mood as well. It's really good for uh, producing ex um, endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, uh, which is really important you know, in rewiring and uh, healing your brain from all the damage you've done from alcohol and opiates, obviously. Um, also, that, so that's exercise, very important. That's a daily thing for me. Um, also, uh, changing habits, changing friends, changing places, associations is, is really, really important. I've started uh, volunteering for uh, some people called uh, Los Angeles de la Noche, uh, Malaga, which are, well, the angels of the night translates, and they feed a, um, a thousand, well, a thousand each sitting, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So 3,000 homeless and underprivileged people a day. And I go there um, a couple of days a week and work all day uh, helping them, producing food and serving food and talking to people. And it's amazing how many Brits are over here actually in, in Malaga sleeping rough. Um, they're young, 20s, 30s, 40s, all, all ages that have, have fallen into the drug and alcohol habit and uh, not been able to get work and, and just fallen on really hard times. So I've been doing that and I find that really satisfying and I've made new friends through it. Making new friends is really important uh, because it's great to bond again, to, to make friends who have good associations and not bad associations with, you know, and um, I've made new friends down the gym, several people now who I, I go out for coffees with regularly and talk to regularly. And through them, there's other opportunities arrive in clubs and, and very, um, when I say clubs, I don't mean nightclubs, I mean, you know, clubs, associations, if you like. And I'm getting getting used to that because um, I was shut away here for months on my own, drinking myself and drugging myself to death. So getting out and about and meeting people again has been really, really important to me and a big part of my recovery. So is doing this, making these videos and um, talking to people in all the Facebook groups and all part of, you know, um, having a support network around you and helping support others. And that, is, that has helped me immeasurably. And that's quite a, that's a couple of hours of my day as well now, you know, dealing with that and um, watching videos and making comments and supporting people, which really helps me as well. So, so that's, you know, that's something to be aware of. 
I'm looking at my notes here because I don't want to forget anything. New places. All right, yeah, meditation and affirmations. Um, now, this probably isn't for everybody, um, but I, I was involved. I did a degree in acupuncture um, a few years ago now, um, and uh, I'm very into uh, meditation, Chinese medicine, energy medicine in general. And I left it behind when I really my, when my drug and alcohol use really escalated over here. So I've now refound it around. There's a Buddhist temple down the road as well, which is quite helpful for meditation. But I meditate daily. Um, lots of lots of different meditations available on YouTube, just using them. Um, and my affirmations, I'm going to read at the end of this. I, I, I affirm myself daily, saying these things two or three times a day. Um, and that really helps. It's all about rewiring and reprogramming your brain and getting those pathways working healthily um, and not, you know, not in a bad way, you know. So, um, you know, that, th bear that in mind as well. I'll read those affirmations in the end. So, yeah, affirmations, meditation, uh, that type of thing. Um, also, yeah, learning something, getting a new hobby, learning something. Now, I've been here two years and never learned Spanish. So I'm now learning Spanish properly. I've got uh, I've downloaded a course off the net, and also my sister-in-law is a Spanish teacher, so I'm going to hopefully tap into her resources soon. And and that's really important, you know, to to occupy your mind and challenge yourself and give yourself a new reason, you know, to to you know to to, to learn something new. And and it's a really good reason for me because I've been cobbling along here for ages, been sort of. Uh, or, Spangle, they call it, don't they? Half and half, a load of <laughs> terrible, really. I am, but um, this new course, you know, learning something, giving yourself a new challenge, really important, you know. And in your routine, your daily routines as well, like getting up early in the morning. I talked about in the last video when I used to lie in bed and withdrawing, and I now I get up early in the morning, I'm awake at uh, seven o'clock in the morning, and my day starts then. Never lie in bed, straight up, and I have my daily routine. My breakfast routine, my affirmations, meditation, um, some stretching exercises I do, um, and then my day starts. You know, so and my days are full now. I mean, I mean, I'm, it used to be empty, you know, and, and and boredom and complacency are very bad for us, as as you all know. But now my days are full, and they're full of enjoyable and healthy stuff. You know, as I've said before, you know, as I went down to the, I used to go down to the. The store down the road for my alcohol on a daily basis I struggled down there. Now I go down there for my organic veg, and that's my association with that store now, where it used to be vodka before cheap vodka. And um, the same with the chemist, where I used to buy tramadol to feed my addiction, you know, because it over here, as I say, it was over the counter. I've got two chemists here. The only time I go to the chemist now, I go for my vitamin tablets because I take a good multivitamin on a daily basis, which I think is really important as well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's how I've changed and changing those associations is very important. So rewiring negative uh, negative pathways very very important. Um, and relapse never be afraid of afraid of failure. Those of you out there either just keep trying and keep trying. I wanted to mention that because it's always in the back of the mind, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's the furthest thing from my mind now. My mind just jumps. You know, if I have, if ever I have thoughts or cravings or associations, as I say, I've programmed my mind now to either tell to f off, like I say, to or or to see them for what they are, which are which are just false false thoughts and associations. Which is why I never I'm, I try and disassociate myself from all those old habits and old um, area, you know, people, places, routines that that are all triggers and associations. They're not there anymore. And it becomes easier and easier as you go along, you know. So it's never truly easy, but uh, there you go. So just just remember that. Just remember that uh, if you do fail, you know, success isn't final. I'm going to read you this: success isn't final, failure isn't fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts, and it is the courage to continue that counts. And don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. So till next time, I'll read you the affirmations next time because I've run out of time now. Um, carpe diem, don't forget, seize the day, wake up in the morning, change, it's your choice to change, this life's out here waiting for you, and I'm a new person now, I'm going to make more of these ones, you know, because it really is worth doing, um, so go for it, please, you know, for, for your own sake, before it's too late, because um, there's only one other thing out there that's waiting for you, and that's death.
you know, and that's, and that's where it'll lead on unhappiness. So Carpe Diem, seize the day. Much love and stay strong and hold on. Bye-bye. Much love. Bye.